2004. In a highly secure boardroom at the nucleus of California, four determined entrepreneurs, Will Harvey, Eric Rise, Marcus Gosling, and Matt Danzig don the organization IMVU Incorporated, birthing one of the world's largest avatar chatting softwares in the history of mankind. It lives an extraordinarily prosperous life within the span of two flourishing decades, until... of criminal justice to every pedophile who dwells within but I'm getting ahead of myself situations.
scheduled a short meeting for you tonight. The address is Redwoods, California, 9406663. And don't worry, we know this question is of importance to our clients.
It all began in 1967, when a tortured soul named Will Harvey was born into the world. His childhood and teen years were full of pain, blood, and fire. But that's all meaningless to the story, so we'll skip over that. After graduating from Stanford University with impassioned dreams to aspiringly rise from a tiny fledgling programmer to a world-renowned game-developing superstar, he eagerly incepts and determinedly develops an eclectic multiplex of studios, games, and software for the Apple II in his early career. Lancaster in 1983, Zany Golf in 1988, and The Immortal in 1990, all of which would be distributed by and then frenziedly devoured by the ferocious behemoth that will soon be known as EA. Will Harvey had worked his little hands to the bone for mere pennies, and after seeing the success from his best friend John Carmack and Gabe Newell, legends who blooded the world's greatest masterpieces to be remembered for ages, Will swallowed the bitter taste of defeat with caked dust stuck in between his teeth that Johnny and Gaben left in their wake. He lies in bed awake most nights crying and pissing himself to nightmarish sleep until the day he would exact revenge on the earth. He founded the company Rocket Science Games as the chief technical architect, terraforming it from the ground up an emesis of all his love and labor went into the creation and maintenance of this pathetic studio until it was swallowed and destroyed. After its apocalyptic demise in 1997, the pungent miasma of rot swells from the dead bodies surrounding the dust-settled battlefield. Will Harvey is the only remaining survivor, alongside Elon Musk, that is. Both of them wipe their mouths of coughed up Icor and forlornly go their separate ways into an unforeseen future. But Will still had some will left in him, pouring the last of his boiling blood, seething sweat, and trembling tears into what is one of the first MMOs in this heartless planet. A strange, silly game called There. Your friends are here. Not much is known about this mysterious abandoned ware. Even lost media experts have only a virginal understanding of its existence. All that remains is the website and a downloadable client. What goes on inside of this obscured universe would warrant a video of its own. <clears throat> Next bow. After delectably sipping from the eternal fountain of online gaming, Will Harvey expeditiously paved the winding way for himself, finally finding his road to the throne. But what was the cost? Everything. He crawls down an infernal path of no return and lamentably births the beast that is IMVU. The acronym doesn't mean anything, but the game, to many, means everything. It needs no introduction because even if you've never played it, you still saw it on the sidebar of whatever site you were on back in the day. It's a lot like Worlds or Second Life, but not as complicated or unkempt. We understand that all social platforms will inexorably attract predators, and it's solely their fault alone when they exploit a child. So we'll give IMVU the benefit of the doubt. For the moment. Like all of us, the humble genesis of IMVU began unsullied and undefiled, with pure intentions as a visual instant messaging service, cleanly operating as a medium for people to talk, with the world and fauna sporting a safe appearance and presentation. It made a tiny spark in the dark void of social networks, but after an eon of being beaten by the colossi of MySpace and Facebook, the IMVU gods were unsatisfied with its inferior stratum. And on these grounds, the corporation commenced a change of incommensurate proportions in 2011, and they enterprised a more sexy and lustful look and feel for the game. It slowly evolved into what is now almost unrecognizable from its original design, and began to function more like an environment for virtual dating and cybersexual interactions. It caused a cataclysmic big bang in the online sphere, a titanic risk that favorably paid itself in unceasing spades when hormonal teenagers began pouring in by the bolo. Finally, they usurped the crown, and like all kings, became tyrants. The app holds almost a million reviews, with a 4.3 and 4.6 stars on the Play and App stores respectively. A lot of people love this game, boasting 7 million players every month with an average uptime of 55 minutes of activity per user. It's regarded by some as the most markedly engaging way to communicate with others online. Avatars are almost endlessly customizable, 
with the absolute biggest catalog of virtual items in the history of online marketplaces. It has even conceived its own inception of social media, an entire economy, marketplace, mimic Instagram feed, an in-house Tinder clone, and an entire microcosm of famous in-game celebrities live within its walls. Just to quote their about page, participation is addictive and the equation is simple. If you can imagine it, you can create it, shop for it, and be in it in IMVU. <laughs> they are impetuously spreading to every healthy host body that children inhabit, and it did not take me long before I found our benefactor. and I'm looking for a boyfriend. This isn't the place to be looking for a boyfriend. It said singles club. Sexy singles club. Sad face. Aw, let her be. She'll find love here one day. Go play Roblox or something. LOL. Hi. Hi there. Do you want a date? I'm, I'm 24. I think there's a bit too much of a gap for that. But we can be friends. Okay! You were really nice. Thank you so much. I can be your big bro, okay? Okay, big brother. I'm just with some people right now, but I'll invite you over a bit later. Yes, please. Hi. Hello. Do you like cuddles? I don't know. I've never cuddled before. Come lay on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just having fun with it. <laughs> like this? <sighs> Sorry. I'm pretty big. <laughs> it's okay. Do you prefer guys or girls, by the way? Guys, of course. You don't mind that I'm older? Of course not, but I thought you just wanted to be my big brother. <laughs> I guess so. But you're so cute. You're cute too. Holding my hand over you. Getting you all cozy. Are you this tiny in real life? I'm four foot eleven in real life. Wow. I'm six one. Oh. I'm gonna get credits in a bit and I'll help you dress you up, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you, big brother. <laughs> you're welcome, baby girl. <laughs> Holding your hand. You're so cute. <laughs> I, I can't help it. <laughs> I love you. Aw. I love you too. Let's date, but we should be a bit low-key about it because of the age difference. Okay? Or maybe don't tell people your age. <laughs> It'll be our secret.
You there? Oops, I got disconnected. <laughs> I'm back. Hi. Hello. Sorry about that, baby. It's okay, big brother. Hey, I'd like you to still call me that, even though we're dating. It's kind of hard. Hehe, <laughs> I thought you'd like that. You're so naughty. Daddy is good, too. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Daddy. <laughs> so cute. What's your background? Where are you from? Like, like racial background. I'm white, lol. How about you? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I, I half white, half Asian. OMG, that's hot. Are you a K-pop star? <laughs> Sorry. He, <laughs> oh, oh, uh, ha, no. I'm half Filipino, not Korean. Still hot AF. <laughs> Thank you. Give daddy a kiss. Mwah. Say, say yes, daddy, when I tell you to do something. Okay, sugar? Yes, daddy. Good girl. What are you up to? <laughs> I, I actually have a Zoom meeting. I gotta go in a few minutes. I'll be on later tonight. Okay. Zoom meeting for work? Yeah. OMG, what do you do? Puts my arms around you. Squeezing you lovingly and giving you a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> Get out of here with that. I'll tell you more about it when I see you later. Okay, princess? Yes, daddy. <laughs> and we'll go on a little shopping spree. All for you. Hex and kisses. Kisses you back. Bye, little sister. Bye, big bro. Exchange contact info with him. His known aliases are Pablo Sunny on IMVU and Vin Diesel on Discord. But these are grooming specific accounts, completely segregated from his personal life. As such, his profile pictures led us nowhere. But I do know that he is a half white, half Filipino 24 year old male. He works as a part time freelance musician and claims to have done work for commercials and his dream is to become a famous rock star how cute he already has a small following built up most likely through his instagram which sadly i couldn't pry from his paranoid hands but he did tell me that he has puberphonia and that his mother has cerebral palsy he lives in canada on the far west coast and seems to be popular among his friend group often 
pleasant. So fucking unique. Even for a pedophile, conveying to me the most cool things I have ever seen in written words. And I just had to sit there, suffer through his cool romantics and poetry, replying, Yes, King, when he was done, but all will pay off shortly. Cause I'm about to gently caress. With what remains of his face Delicately laying in between my soft hands But as much progress as we were making in our Relationship It was not without certain limitations He's smart and knows what kind of information Not to give me I could not get his name His personal social media And above all else I could not get his face At least until I sent him a picture of my ass. And yes, that is my actual ass. So why don't you go to Patreon and support me sending my ass to pedophiles, ruining their pitiful little lives after my ass makes them horny enough to send me a picture of their face that I then publish to all of you. Who will decidedly grant these predators the most delightful dreams. They can never even fathom. If you decide not to donate, thank you anyways just for enjoying the content. But it wasn't all fun and games with this one. viewers. 
years, and it is meant for documentary and informational purposes only. Here is the timestamp if you wish to skip. You have 10 seconds. want to vindicate themselves. After we pulverize their reputation to the scathing pavement, however, I am VU. They are a different beast entirely. I am uncertain that they will try and do the same as their antecedents, make fake claims that I'm slandering them or some other face-saving horseshit until the day they're able to drag me to court and unceasingly sue me for every painstaking penny I've ever made. Only in this case, unlike kids Chad and Milo L and Harem, they actually carry the financial 
Leviathan. I have not gone up against an enemy like this in my entire life, and what they can do to me will be countlessly worse than that of even the most infamous internet lawsuits. I can't let that happen. So with all of this taken into consideration, the smartest move for me at this very moment is to surrender. It shames me greatly, but I have no other choice. I'm sorry everyone. So now, if they want to take me to court for this, here is my official statement now. Suck my cock. It's a bitter dish best served ice cold. Understandably, it is not to everyone's liking. But in the end, it gets results. So despite what I said in the last chapter, you can take me to court IMVU. Or you can certainly try. I will joyously burn you to the motherfucking ground. The kids who disagree with me can say what they want. They are kids. Kids are dumb, and are corporeally incapable of knowing what's good for them. The fully formed adults who disagree with me can say what they want. They are pedophiles, and we are on our unwavering way to put them in prison. Even if there was no good in doing what I do, I would still do it, just because I like it. So I will not stop. I will never stop. I will remain conscripting my fellow psychopaths and nihilists by my side who have been patiently waiting for a moment like this. At last you will finally get the chance to taste the sweet flavor of-
I'm around 20 and I really love playing video games and I always loved to play video games as a teen. Uh, and as a child, of course, I never really had any money, so I couldn't really buy any video games. So I used to just search for anything that was free and then I stumbled upon IMVU. I'm 24, 13, 14 years old. I came across IMVU on an ad on a website. Um, what I remember is that I used to have a friend and she's also, of course, like a girl and my age. So we used to just kind of go around different rooms. Yeah, it was fine. It just seemed like a, a, a normal app. But being young, I didn't really, you know, uh, look too much into it. I wouldn't say alone, but I didn't have many friends. And it was just um, a very uh, appealing thing to have people to talk to and spend time with after school. And I come from, a, like, a, not a really good home. So it has been, like games and IMVU has been my escape to not think about what is going on there. Um, so I got really addicted to the game really quickly. It was fun. Uh, it was great talking to uh, people with similar personalities and for the most part it was very good but after a while, well, not even a while, you, you see the very toxic side of it very quickly and, and being young you don't really think of the consequences to your actions so so we used to, like what we used to do is just go to different clubs and yeah of course there was different rooms and different chat rooms some of them were like 18 plus rooms some of them were private rooms and as i mentioned quite a bit lonely i also i never really had relationships as a kid so i expected myself to obtain or meet some new friends because I used to be very lonely. I was very shy and like very introverted. And because of me putting my account on 18 plus, I used to meet a lot of older guys that tried to get my attention, even though some of them knew that I was under 18. Around my teenage years, I was with um, a group of friends on IMVU that I'd known for, I wanna say about three months now. Um, and we had a member in the group that was much older and we started uh, chatting off IMVU on Skype which eventually went into uh, video calling on three occasions. It eventually devolved into masturbating in front of her while she also performed um, sexual acts on herself. Uh, I believe one of her Real life partners knew about it and didn't care because it's just such a a um, common occurrence there that it just seems so normalized. And every time afterwards, she would expressly say, "You know, you can't tell anyone about this." But yeah, I didn't never really expected anyone to actually message me and try to buy me through gifts on that game to reach to my Discord and like obtain pictures. Well, which which did happen. <laughs> the story of what happened to me on IMVU is um, there used to be this one time where me and my friend were just walking around. So we were asking people around like, hey, do you want to buy me this t-shirt, please? Because I don't have any coins. Um, and there used to be this one guy that said, oh yeah, sure, of course. I'm gonna buy it to you. I'm gonna buy you a couple, you know? And I was like, oh my God, really? Thank you. It reached the point where he, I sent him like any sort of contact media. So it did end up being just Discord. It, I don't know, it turned into a couple compliments and a lot of, oh, you're so beautiful. And which I wasn't really super aware that like what his intentions were and where it was going like I didn't really know what he was doing and especially because he was you know he used to just buy me gifts and just talk and just go into chats which ended up at the end being super sexual which I didn't really expect at all but yeah at that time like I, I didn't really know I didn't really think like I was just playing a game with my friend uh, so that was the first first time with you know, such an experience with, you know, an older woman. Eventually, uh, someone else found out about it and got her to back away from me. I feel like, um, you know, it's sort of been a general consensus that it's not as bad for guys because they're getting the attention of the women, you know, but 
it's it's taken me until I first sent you that email that it, it was a horrible thing that happened. So what happened next is, what if I go on your account and I give you coins? I said, yeah, of course, I you can go on my account if I can go on yours. Uh, because of of course I was also scared about my account. So I did go in his, on his account and I wanted just for fun to check his settings. And on IMVU, if you go into settings, you can like see an email. And he used his real name and his last name email. So as a teenager, I was like, oh, I want to Google his name on Facebook and see who it is, right? Um, which I did. I Googled his email and a really bad website popped up. But this weird Russian website is popping up. Like, what is it? So I decided to click on it. Um, I took a screenshot and I sent it to my friend, uh, being like, what is this? Like, what? who is this guy? Um, where we both got really, really scared. So she told me to click on one of them and just see what it is, um, which I did. And this is why I took the screenshots that I sent you. And I absolutely panicked. I sent it to her, panicked, closed it down. And I was so scared that I didn't know what to do. Um, I instantly knew that this wasn't normal, that this isn't something someone should do, that I wasn't supposed to find it. Like, I wasn't even supposed to see it. And I, I freaked out. I, I really freaked out. I, feel I just, it, he never really got the justice, you know, like other people that he groomed as well never got the justice i i think they just got away with it and so many other people just get away with it on this site that it's just it makes me so much more anxious it really fucked me up in a way because i kept thinking about it i kept like i couldn't really i couldn't tell to anyone because like you know like i like how am i supposed to so i never really got it out of my chest really i would say i was traumatized by that but it used to be really hard and that didn't help at all so many things have caused me trauma it's hard to like draw a point to where it, like where it begins where it ends when i look back on it i definitely don't look back on it positively so it just kids don't really understand that not knowing that it was wrong um and getting taken advantage of because of that I don't think IMVU cares about these things. All they want is money. Just a toxic cesspool of predators and the majority of them just awful people that don't care about anything but themselves and it's just not a good environment for anyone to be in. Like it doesn't feel like there's any protection. Like I think when it does have sex, it does have sexual animations, it does have people that are only there for that thing. I don't really think kids should even play that game, honestly. Uh, I don't want anyone I know being on it. I could honestly say I hate it. Like, I hate it. The way some people on there can just manipulate you into doing things and... I really think that Imbu should just remove ch children from the game. Because I don't think it's safe. An adult can easily create a teen account and pretend to be whoever he wants. Like, it was as easy for me to be an adult in the game. And parents don't really look at what their kids do. Like, my mom didn't, which I don't blame her because she didn't really understand, like... It's just, it's not worth the damage it can do to you. Um, and that's me just speaking to anyone around my age, of the age of 24. Um, the message for any kids that might see this, you definitely do not go to it. Uh, parents, do not let your kids go to it at all. It's really hard for parents to pay attention to everything the kids does. Because at some point, the kid outsmarts the parent and the parent just cannot keep up. In the future, it's going to get even harder when the website, the company that stands for it doesn't take any responsibilities. What can you do? Burn it to the ground. <laughs> I mean, that is my honest answer. Like, at, at this point, it's, it's too far gone. I think I spent probably like 10 years of my life on it and my honest opinion I'm you and anything like it should be burned to the ground I mean scourge of the earth what it's become and I think it all should be eradicated from 
the face of this planet. I'm really happy that someone makes a video about it. Especially how, like, because I have seen a lot of people just taking the videos down that really expose all the truth. Like, I am so grateful that you're doing it. It's more people will get more knowledge and will realize that they have to just keep a better eye on those different platforms, games, especially the ones that are free. Some of them just have really bad moderation like this one. And to take care of the younger generation, the younger people that don't know it yet. I am I'm sad that it happens. I'm sad that it happened to me. I am really sad that it happened to the other survivors. But I am happy that it's finally time to inform other people and help them to not let it happen to them. So I hope that makes sense. End of the question. It is now clear to us that this game is not what it pretends to be. That is abundantly obvious to even the most devout players who have been on it for years. No matter how much fun it may be, we're going to be objective and in no way ignore the incautiously predatory business practices that the company paves for individuals with sinful intent. For ages, it's been explicitly targeting and advertising to tweens and children. Their rigorous ad campaigns still meticulously endure even to this day actively encouraging romantic and sexual behavior between strangers, exasperated by the conventionally attractive avatars. So it is no wonder that a lot of guiltlessly unaware teenage girls go into this game trying to find young love, just to arrive at a rape kit on the other side of the rainbow. And it is no secret either, horrifying records of underage grooming, CP trading, and human trafficking thrash beneath the synthetic facade I envy you fervently fiends. So they can quit faking like them and their audience know not the things they've done. Literally, open a new tab, go to YouTube, and type MVU. You'll be met with a noxious stack of the most asinine and disgusting. Because currently, every single video is about either incest, abuse, or pedo shit. Why? Why does the keyword MVU immediately direct us to this? Oh, but how could we forget? IMVU sure diddly does act like it has your child's protection in mind. So why is this game an unmoderated fucking hellscape that allows the most unrepented sinners of mankind to assimilate within the underbelly of its soft-seeming skin? Pedophilia is only one of its infinite illnesses. That trust and safety page we showed you before, all lies just telling customers and investors what they want to hear, and nothing more. The report page is completely useless, without even an option to document the predators. And their video message to parents literally sounds like it was made by a- Silly goober. Your safety is our most important responsibility. The IMVU promise is about finding the right balance between allowing you to have fun and express yourself and creating a welcoming community that is safe for everyone. Distinguished. I'm not even mad that they disabled my account. They absolutely should have. I flamboyantly screamed throughout every chat room that I'm a 14-year-old girl basically begging to be groomed. Yes, I deserved a ban. But why didn't they disable the accounts of all the predators that I repeatedly reported? The fact that they didn't tells me that they don't give a single shit about the people preying on children on their platform. They only care about getting rid of the evidence, silencing the victims. Because as far as they are concerned, the pedophiles are just loyal customers playing the game as it was intended. Strangers having cyber sex with strangers despite them knowingly sexually exploiting kids. So the blame goes to the children who are sneaking into the 18 plus section, even though that's what most of the kids playing this game are doing anyways. Since half of the game is content locked by an age restriction, what the fuck do you think kids are gonna do? Even still, with two completely separate sectors for kids and adults in the game, kids can say they're over 18 and break into the mature section, or predators can 
voice it. This is a flaw in every age restriction system, not just IMVU. But it is not, and has never been good enough. They are beyond aware that their age restriction system is so broken that they even choose to monetize how busted it is. So if you want IMVU to actually verify the ages of their users, please pay $5.49 plus tax for every person. Oh, but yes, they get a round of applause for doing the bare minimum, which will award me with some disapproval from the very kids I'm trying to protect because they are too blindsided by IMVU's parasitical relationship with them, as it offers a false sense of security in an atmosphere purposefully perpetuated by both the creators and fans, as if everyone is breathing in toxic fucking fumes, because there's just this air in IMVU where young girls getting with older guys is the standard, is the goal like some cover-up story for all the grooming that happens on here. Until the day comes years later when the victims seek justice after being fucking traumatized with chronic depression and severe anxiety, experiencing daily disassociation to accompany the hellish panic attacks. Looks like that day has finally come. So now, we will begin one of the most vital acts of criminal justice to every pedophile who dwells within. And that brings us back to... Sonny, I am going to report you to the police until the entirety of what remains of your identity is as a rehabilitated individual. I start by going back onto IMVU and stalking his profile to see if he's still active. And yes, he is. I then proceed to make a new account with a peculiar name, one that will surely get his undivided attention. So I delightfully add over 300 very special people. Just so happens that it's every single person on his friends list. I messaged every single one of them, painting an intricately detailed picture of what he does to little girls and sending imager links with proof of his disgusting acts. An interesting turnout, but they could not offer me the one thing I was looking for information. And so, I dispatch a mirthful series of vexatious messages that will progressively detonate a thermonuclear device inside his mind. Oh yeah. I hope this turns out well for all parties. Whether he replies or not, I guess, will remain to be seen. Oh yeah, 
us. We will. Hi, can you hear me? Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? Hey, you sound weird. <laughs> That's just my voice. Um, Why do you sound like well, that? So what? It's my voice. Um... Do we want to talk? Really what do you want to talk about? <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I have a high voice. Um, that is scary, you, though. You don't look like that, and then have a voice that's higher than mine. That's not. That's not how biology works. I wish that was true. Um. What, what do you want to talk about? Like, I, I don't, I don't want. I'm really sorry for like, what I did, and I'm really, you know, I feel really bad that, um, you know, your feelings were hurt. I, I just want to make it right. You know, like I, I shouldn't have handled it the way I did. Uh, and I, I think, you know, I understand. Like, why I you're upset. understand and, what you're saying. You can't understand. Yeah. Can we just let me test? No, I wanted to talk to you, but like for real, like without, like, you know, if you could like turn off your voice thing, then I think I could hear, understand you better. I'm not, I'm not using one. Fucking gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss, king. <laughs> A condition. Okay. Sure, sure. Condition that makes you sound like a robot. Sound like a fucking, the fucking alien filter on Snapchat. Okay. <laughs> hey, I had to restart Discord. Can you hear me better now? Hello? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. I just have my computer's really old. Um so what can we do to make this better? Um I just I just want to talk right now, I guess. Okay, that's okay. I'm I'm really like again. I'm really sorry. I'm not gaslighting you. I'm honestly really sorry. Um, I honestly got scared and I just felt bad about 
what happened and I, sh I should have talked to you before I, you know, just ran away like that. But, you know, I just got scared and it wasn't your fault. Do you like, do you always do this to girls or? No, no, it's, uh, it's, it's, it was, and I'm, I'm actually thinking of just, um, like, uh, getting off of I'm view completely. Um, it's just, I don't think it's good. Um, but, but yeah, no, I, I am not trying to hurt anybody. And, and, you know, like you have, you know, a lot in your hands where if you wanted to be, you know, really mad and not forgive me, you could, but, you know, like, I'm honestly like not a bad person and I'm not trying to hurt anybody. And I would just like, you know, appreciate some, some just mercy, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Um, that's all I can say. And, you know, like I can, you know, tell you that you know, you're not even miss like I'm not, a, you know, I'm just a normal person. I don't know. And I made a mistake and I shouldn't have just abandoned you like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I don't know, because I just feel like because I asked one of your other friends and they said you did the same thing to them. So I It's cuz I, like I it's cuz I left all every like everything on IMVU I just left. It wasn't like specifically like because I was like, you know, going to somebody else. I was like I'm like trying to get off of there and like um it's not like me doing that and like then going to someone else. Like I'm like just leaving. I don't want to be on it anymore. Um, I, okay, I don't know. I just felt kind of betrayed because I thought we had something special and stuff. And then, yeah, I'm sorry. You, it's completely valid that you feel that way. Um, and you know, I do think you're a really good person and a really nice person, but you know, it's just like there's it's just I can't, like, it's just not okay for me to be doing this, you know, even if, even if. You know, no matter how you feel and how I feel, it's, it's just like, I can't, I can't do that, so. And it's not um, good, like, why did you pursue me, you know? I was just being stupid, and it's not your fault, and you're really nice, and I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, like, and, and you're going you know, you're, you're gonna to meet lots of people. I'm, you know I'm 14, though, like, you know, like. Sorry, you okay. Know Like, do you feel any better now that we've talked, or? Do you, I don't know, I just feel like, you know, do you not know, like, what you're doing? Like, you're, you said you're 24, right? And I, I just, I don't, I don't want to get into all of this. I just, I just, like, I, I want you to know that I know that what I did was wrong, and I just, um, that's what I want to talk about. Like, I wanted to talk about this stuff. Like, I'm sorry if it makes you uncomfortable, but it's how I feel. And I, it's what I need. To, I need to talk about this because I just, for my own Yeah, we're here. We're here. We're talking. Um, and, yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. And I just, like, I'm really just begging you, like, sincerely, just, like, you know, to, like, you know, for the sake of, like, my family and everyone, just, like, like, I, I, I don't want anything bad to happen. Um, and I'm, I promise you that it's not, like, something that I've ever done before or want to do. And I just made a huge mistake, and it's not your fault at all. Can we, like, can we just be friends then yeah that's totally fine we can be friends um i'm not going to be on i am view though um is that okay? Oh, okay yeah just hold on a, a sec oh you know I just, we can we can make a deal okay i i think 
you, like if you're not using IMV anymore, like you can add me on Instagram and we can be Instagram friends. And then I just no, like, I don't. I don't want to. That's the whole point. Is I I can't. I, that's I can't do that. Like I. I, I can, you know, every once in a while, if you want to send me a message, I'm not going to block you. Um, you know, I can be, but I, but I, I don't think it's appropriate um, for me to but do like, this. So. Why not? Like, because, and like, you know, I, like, you you were literally just threatening that, that you were going to like, you know, tell your, that you're going to ruin my life. Like, I can't then give you my identity. What about like, at least, like, can I just follow you? Like, I just no, wanna... no. <laughs> I'm sorry. You I, I like I, you. You that. you have to understand from my perspective. You have to understand from my perspective. You realize I would go to jail. Like, I would go to jail for like ten what? years. Why? You said we can be friends. Like, I don't think. Yeah, but I don't want to have you. I don't want you to know my real identity. That's what I'm saying. It's like. And it's not because I don't trust you. It's just like I, I that's that would be really stupid for me to do that. But don't I like I already have your face, like Okay, well I don't know. It's and I don't wanna give you more, like and like I feel really like that was not super cool that you know I you did that even though you said you weren't going to. Like why did you do that at the time? Well, I mean, I just want to follow you, though. Like, I don't want to do anything. I just want your Instagram. And I thought you were handsome. Gonna... That's why I like I like your face. <laughs> That's why. Okay. Okay. But, yeah, but you, you understand why I can't do that, right? No. Like, I, I know. It's because then you're going to have a way to, like, if you ever wanted to do something, you know, if, like, then I'm, I'm going to even more, like, you already have me in a position where, you know, like, you're, like, you know, yeah, I already to do, do that. have you in a position, and like, and so I think you should do what I want you to do because no, I, if, no, because I can already <laughs> tell my mom right now. You're gonna. What are you gonna tell her though? You're really gonna no. do that? Like, wh why do you want to ruin my life? Like, why? Like, can we just you, be friends? Like, that's that's not something that friends do. Like, if we're gonna, do you want to be actually be friends? Me. No, I didn't. Like I we we just talked once and then and then and things got heated and and like I wasn't trying to exploit you, like. If you want to be friends, then add me on Instagram. No, oh my god! You grilled okay. me. Huh? I talked to my friends and they said that that sounds like grooming. Okay, when I'm telling you right now that I want it to stop and why why do you, I don't want to continue this? So then why? So am I still doing that? I'm saying I want this to stop and I'm saying I made a mistake I'm sorry how about this how about this when if you still how about this I'm not going to block you we can stay in contact here when you're old enough then if you still care about me then you can become friends that way okay I was you know going through a hard time like there's a lot of shit that I was going through and you know I just was lonely and I you know, like I, my my life is like really hard, and you know I have to take care, of, like my mom, and she has cerebral palsy, and like her husband is like physically abusive, and like I am the only one that knows, and like she won't leave him, and there's like this all this shit that I have to do, and like you know like I'm like super broke, and I just have like my life is like not great, so I don't know, like I am sorry that uh, you went through that as a result of me, you know, just trying to feel something. Yeah, mom, ha you and can you show me a pic of you and your mom? No, I'm not sending you any more photos or anything. Then I don't believe you. Why? I can't Why believe you. I'm not, okay, I don't care if you, if you can believe what you want. I'm just going to go to my mom then, because we have family in Ottawa, and they can contact the police, and then, unless you want to find me and actually, like, not just do this to me and desert me. What am me I like doing to you? How am I deserting you? Like, we you talked just for wanna, one like, day. We talked. That was really hard.
hey, come on, please. Like, I don't need, you don't need to use that if you, like, if you care about me. Like, you don't need to, like, keep saying that. Like, that's, like, really you scary. Like, I, I would, like, I'm going to get, like, fucking, me. I'm, like, not strong. Like, I'm going to get fucking, like, beat up and raped in prison. Like, you want that you to know, happen to me because we talked for one day? Like. I, I don't even feel like you really care about me. Like, I you sexually exploited me. I feel like you owe me just this one thing. And, like, I don't even feel like you really care about me. And I need. Can we come up with an alternative thing that I can do? Because I, I my boundaries is I don't want you to have more of my personal information. Because then you can actually, like, just decide one day that you want to, like, you know. Like, I, don't, I can't have that leaning over my back. Like, can I make you something? Can I, like. Can I make you a song or something, and then we can just like go on about our lives? Can I? Maybe I can. I can. I can gift you like a bunch of shit on IMV. Like I can just give you some credits. I don't know. Like what? Like I just. I. I can't. Like I can't give you more of my information than I already have because like, that's just gonna like. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to jail. Like it's like. It's you're not gonna go to jail if if I don't like say anything. You know, like I. I just like, I already I couldn't even trust you to like to send one photo of myself and you, you like you saved it so like I don't trust you anymore. But I saved it because you're cute. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't malicious. It but I told you. yeah, but I told you not to. I told you not to, and you said you didn't. You lied. Like that. I don't. I can't trust you like that now. <laughs> I didn't. I'm sorry, but I just. Look, I can just you? Okay, like, here. Okay, let's start. Let's start off. Do you think you could delete that photo? I promise I'm not yeah. gonna I'm not gonna ghost you. I, I promise. I just I really want you to like like that. There, if you if you have that kind of thing over me, we're never gonna be ha able to have like a normal friendship because because like okay. I, I don't want there to be that kind of thing. Okay. Well, I can I I can delete the photo and like and like everything if I can just have your Instagram. Like I can delete my IMVU and my Discord and like everything. Can yes, you send okay. a screen recording of you deleting it and then just kind of go through your photos to show that you don't have it? Do you know how yeah. to do that? It'll take me a bit to like figure out how to do that because, but I can do, I, I, I can look up how to do that and show you. Okay. I think we have more than enough to build a case against him. But I'm gluttonous and always want more. So by the end of the day, he and I came to an agreement. I delete the photos he gave me, and he gives me his Instagram. Here's the video I sent him. The little silly goober bought it and thought he was safe now decided it wise to block me again, but it's too late. Supper's almost ready, children, and within moments. He will reflect back positively on this moment. When we are done with him. But before we get to that, I wanted to say one last thing about IMVU. I'm not going to tell you to get the website taken down because it's not going to happen. I'm sure someday in the far future, a team of righteous and well-educated lawyers will be able to bankrupt the company in the name of all the CSA survivors. But until then, I just want you all to know what goes on inside. And I think the best we can do for now is send a message. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hello, Pablo Sunny. I expect to hear from you very soon. And to my lovely children, you didn't really think Mama would just send him his ass for no reason, did you? And above all else, I could not get his face, at least until I sent him a picture of my ass. Okay.
Okay, now you have to prove to me you're real. I don't have a pen on me. Is there another way I can prove? Yes, um, let me think. I, I, I can make a specific hand gesture. Yeah, I was gonna say. Or, uh, or something like that. I, I choose. No, you choose. <laughs> Extend only your ring and point her finger and put it on your nose.
Saiz, Jordan Miles, Joshua Riggin, Just Aiden, Just Monica Real, Karen Gerlinger, Kawina Kawaii, K, Kibetsuo, Kim A368, King Rick, Costai, Cryptid, Kyle Pond, Legend, Lana B, Light Dozer, Lauren Callard, Leader in Red, Lee K, Lisa Clark, Lola Bohemia, Luke Tickle, Lunar System, Lynn Wicked, Machine Gun Patriot, Magnolia, Mama Stacy, Maniac in a Box, Map X Hunter, Mariana, Marky Mark, Maru the World, Mary Mononoke, Mary G, Matthias Z, Maxwell, Miranda Wrights, Michael Barr, Monique Manser, Mr. Shadow Jack, Mr. Cun 27X, Munchies 4 Days, Myco Trismagistus, Myron CTH, Ms. Gwendolyn, Name, Nat Attack, Nick from San Diego, PR Chat Row, Nightmare, Omar Garcia, Omega's Phoenix, Optimistic Avocado, Papa John, PC Pisces, Perrin, Phantom Dancer, Falene slash Candy, Pickle Sand 5, Press Start Mom, Puds, Puppy Girl Jenna, Ravenfire, Remy, Reptile Express 12, Rich Baker, Rick Rodriguez, Ryan Villani, Rylan, Sean Lethality, Sam, Sasso Segreto, Saturn's Black Cube, Scarities, Scott B. Kelly, Scott Pine, Seal Plushy, Shadow Domozilla, Shady Artois, Ship Amazing, Silent Luxury, Sky S69, Slippin', Small Ducky, Snow Hakushin, Some Goofy Nobody, Sparrow, Stackin' That MF, Star Sailors Mars, Steph BK, Stren SEC, Succubus GF, Tanmi Joshi, Tixi, Tenacious Spank, Teresa Kleiboker, The Ghosts That Live in the Apartment Above Chris and Sweeney, The Legendary Orc Genocider, The Lecky, Tic Tac 22, Tim Altstadt, Trend Killer, Trina Merkel, Troy, Turtle, On Commonwealth, V Del Ravenethetti, Violet Hogan, Voodoo Shara, Warped Aura, Wild Goose, Wired, WMBD, Zeno, Zero lost, you will be deleted. Zippy. Zippy.